Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we are going to be building an industrial loft without the industrial loft kit. If you didn't see, there was a brand new kit announced. It's not out yet. I, well, actually it might be out by the time this video is out. It'll be out, I think, today, sometime, maybe in a few hours. But a lot of the items in it look very similar to things that we already have. So I thought, why don't we just build with this stuff we already have and not use the kit at all? Because we don't need it. Right, so this is the leaked item set. I mean, it might officially be out now, so... But anyway, this is what leaked, because uh, they accidentally released it early on Steam somehow, and people actually were able to play it. <laughs> so, I don't know. But yeah, a lot of these items, especially... Well, the one window, which is a shame for a loft kit. I would have thought there'd be way more windows. Looks very similar to ones we already have. Beds, similar. Uh, you know... Anyway, basically, I'm going to try and pick an item that matches all of this, what we already have, and we're going to build with it. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is even going to work, but as they say in the biz, I'm going to give it a burl. All right, so first up, I'm going to essentially just lay out all the items that we have that could potentially work. Uh, I'm going to do one for each of the ones we have in the leaked image. So I think this little uh, fur rug is perfect. I believe there is, yeah, there's some colors we can use in there. Ah, this is what I was thinking of. These, okay, from, um, okay, they're pretty big, to be fair. I think this is what I was thinking of. I don't think there's anything other than this, but we can probably work with this. I think we can do something with this. Uh, we don't have any corner pieces. Though. Hang on, let me just check. That's from Get Famous. Wait, I don't even see this when I search for Get Famous. Wait, where are those? Oh, it's a roof sculpture. That's like, I can't, I was like, I can't find it. Where, where are they even? Okay, yeah, so they're, they're here, okay. <laughs> I was just making sure there was no other one. So there's also this one, slightly different, and also this giant one. Okay, so probably looking to use these. Again, I don't think there's any corner pieces or anything like that, but we'll go with that, that's fine. Now they have a big hanger style door, which I'm gonna guess the size of it is probably, because I'm not actually sure, because I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's probably, I reckon this size, like a four tile door. Just by looking at the thumbnail, maybe, maybe it's bigger, but I think maybe like, that kind of size. Not that I want to use that, and it's probably like along, you know, this kind of size door here and all that. Not that I want to use this door, but if, look, if we're really going for the hanger style door, we could probably just use this, not hanger, sorry. I'm thinking hanger, because there is the hanger door from uh, Get Famous. Oh, you know what? I've not even seen this door before. <laughs> I've not even, not even looked at this kit either. Oh, Batu! No, what I was going to talk about was, um. The Get Famous ones, which I think are actually in debug. Yeah, these are epic. Like, look at that. Uh, but that's probably too big. <laughs> but this looks very similar to uh, to the one in the pack. But I think we'll just go with the Snowy Escape one, because I think that works pretty well. Okay, so I've just placed everything out here. So we've got, uh, let's let's compare everything here. We've got the rug right there looking pretty good. We've got the, the vents here that we're going to be using. We've got our beautiful door. Then I'm just using this for the pipes and cog. Then there's also another pipe decoration, which again, I'm just gonna use this. There's also actually the freestanding pipes as well, uh, which is definitely another option we could use. I think they're in here somewhere. Mm. Oh, maybe it's in, oh, I don't know. Anyway, there's plenty of pipes. Uh, the fan is here, the three bladed fan, which we've also got just there. The ceiling light, I actually wasn't sure which one to use. We've got quite, we got a few selections here. Uh, I think any of these could be good. I love this as a big industrial light. But I guess one that's kind of closest to the sh chandeliers from this selection is maybe this, just because it's uh, you know quite metal, quite metal. Yeah, that's that's great description. Anyway, one of these lights we're going to use. The bed is basically this bed, just without the curtains. <laughs> it's basically what it looks like, and I think it probably has a metal frame, the new one. But basically, this bed. Uh, graffiti. I've got this one here that we can use, or we even have the interactable one that we could paint our own. Uh, the plant is basically just this one here. So we got this guy from uh, Dream Home Decorator, I think it was. Yep. Uh, the sideboard. Just going to use base, all the base game stuff because uh, it's quite industrial already. We got that one there. Uh, the dresser, I'm actually using this one because it had the metal detailing on them, the framework. There is like a matching sort of mission styled one, uh, but it's a bit smaller. That was the only thing. So we got the taller one there. Uh, the sort of shelf with a bunch of plants using this one. One of my faves. I use this all the time. Uh, this little thing from Paranormal Stuff I'm using for the decor item. And then we've got the bedside table as well just here. The window also have a couple of choices. We've got this one, which is clearly very industrial inspired. Or we've got this one from the base game. Oh, and when I said mission, I actually meant industrial. I was thinking mission. I think this is mission, right? These windows. Am I making that up? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah, the Windows Emission, this base game sort of metal set is, is definitely industrial. <laughs> yeah, so we got this window here, which is like, I guess just a bigger window, or we got this one, which is probably more industrial uh, in styling that we can use. Uh, now, for the open doors, I was actually going to use the ones from uh, Snowy Escape. Obviously, these are like the uh, Shoji doors, which not particularly industrial, but I think we can make it work. <laughs> it's the same style. Uh, then, got our armchair here to match everything. We got the three-seater couch, the coffee table with the raised section as well and everything. Uh, the dining table, which is, I guess, bigger. There, there isn't a two-tiled uh, bar table yet, I guess. There will be in the uh, industrial kit, <laughs> though. And then also this uh, bar chair from uh, Discover University. And that's that's our industrial kit of items. So let's... I keep pressing escape. Let's build a little industrial thing. I'm here in San Myshuno. Let's just build like a little factory kind of thing. And we're gonna build a loft. And that's what it was called, industrial loft. Okay, so let's go... I'm just gonna, It's gonna be real basic. We're just gonna have this room here. This is gonna be our main loft. I'm gonna use a few additional things as well. Uh, well, anyway, our main door, I, I guess it's not really much of a loft. It's more like a, a garage at this point. Well, I guess it could be a garage. Uh, although I feel like a loft kind of seems like it's supposed to be off the ground a bit, but that's okay. We're going to do something like this. Just bring the roof down. It doesn't need to be quite that high. There you go. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a piece of art. I think this door maybe should be... That one looks... A, oh, that's a little too textured though, isn't it? Maybe that one? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Okay. And then I'm going to obviously move stuff around as we go. I think the windows, the thing is the Moschino windows are like the, be this is what should be in, well, not, obviously not this should be in the industrial kit, but like these are like literal perfect loft windows. I mean, the cold loft windows, look at it. So we're going to use these, I think, or at least some of them. Like, I feel like that's a perfect like corner kind of window setup. Now, this is probably only going to look good from inside the house. Um, Cause what I'm planning on doing is adding like a little platformed area here. All right, there goes that. Hang on, it'd probably be better to do it this way. All right, uh, I feel like this is not looking particularly good, but you know, it's, it is what it is. I think this probably needs to be a little lower. I think it's probably too high. So I'm getting three of these lights in a row. So it's like a little fixture from the new kit. Uh, this probably needs to be wider. <laughs> First of all, so I can actually fit like bedside tables and stuff in here. So let's grab these. I mean, it doesn't need to be that much wider because we can just slide the bed in a little bit more like that. Oh, then we can get this right behind the bed. Wait, how did... Wh wh maybe I should be recreating the render image. Is that what I should be doing? Mm, okay, so they had a pretty lofty uh, build. You know what I might do, actually? I think I'll just add a second floor. Like, I'll just make it taller. But we'll remove the floor. And maybe this window should just be, like, way up there. Not quite sure what's going on with the lighting here. Um, <laughs> uh, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. But, you know, we're, get we're getting some lofty vibes now. All right, we need some of these vents. I guess the problem is I have the bits sticking down the bottom. I guess we could use this, like these ones here. And just make them smaller, right? Oh yeah, look at that. All right, I'm just gonna test out the screenshot ability of this loft. I mean, that's looking pretty lofty. And I'll just like turn it that, obviously I'll move these lights and then I'll just turn it that way so it goes into the wall. And I'll just even have it sticking out the wall because I think, I don't actually think it, might, it like matters if it like sticks outside because, well, as long as the lighting's the same. Just because, um, it could look like it's venting that way, you know? That makes sense to me. Yeah, there you go. So it sort of sticks out there a little bit. I gotta be honest, I do want to try and recreate... Oh, hang on, let me not do that. I, was like, I do want to try and recreate that um, little render image somewhat. So I might bring this down. Because I had the window sort of just like peeking on the corner of the bed a little bit. I might need to lower my vents. Because they're kind of supposed to be the same height as the bed. Which I guess is actually just on the ground floor then, like that. But put it there, that, that window then fits on the ground floor perfectly. Oh yeah. I do have a yellow bed instead, so let's... <laughs> this is great. Okay, so I need to move these probably just to the floor below instead. And it's kind of lining up at the top of the window. You know what? Probably right about here is perfect. So I'm going to have it come out of the wall there because that's where it sort of joins. And then, yeah, just run along the wall like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. So then the... I guess we don't really need the floor above anymore because I'm just going to move these down. So they're just down here. All right, then they have a rug underneath the bed. I think I need to... Um... Either raise up the rest of the floor or just lower the bed down a bit more because we don't really need that platform. Okay, rug's a little big, so we just size it down and then it sort of sits under the bed. I'm just copying the render out there in like a white. And then it's just like a... The floor doesn't even have a texture. It's just... I'm fully aware that this is clearly just like a render image, but 
We'll just do that. That's kind of what it looks like. I also do like these bricks. I'm actually, I mean, it's literally called lofty brick, so, oops. Okay, you know what? I don't know if I can change the wall. Even with move objects on, I can't change the wall because it deletes all those items for some reason. All right, we're not changing the walls. They're staying. <laughs> right, I do need more light in here, so I need to actually get those lights back. Let me just use these because I think we're going to have a ceiling now. I'm going to get rid of the second floor because I... Oh, actually, I think we still need the height, you know? I do think we still need the height. Uh, so maybe what we do... What if we use this giant one? You, you can't really see it because it'll be up here, but give us plenty of that nice big factory lighting from overhead. Oh, yeah. Now, I guess the big difference to our bed is like the frame is like a darker color. So I guess, do we go the darker? I guess it's kind of, it's not obviously not yellow, but do we go the same kind of bed frame or the same color bed sheets, which is yellow? Or I was thinking we could do that one because it's still like, I mean, it's kind of a little bit of yellow in there, but not really. <laughs> this is so dumb. And then we get this in. This is just sort of sneaking in there to the frame here. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, this is basically it. Oh, they only have one bedside table, actually. They don't even have one there, so I'll get rid of that one. All right, I'm loving this. All right, let's get the rest of the stuff in now. You know, we're building our loft. I guess I should only use stuff from the stuff from the kit. So I'm only going to use the stuff that I picked out that I'm using. So I'm going to use these windows again. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to have the living room over here because this would just be out of frame. I think I'm going to have to make this place bigger, by the way, because it's a little small. Like, I want it to be small, you know. Even potentially like a studio loft. They don't have a huge amount of room. So I guess we'll go, maybe get the, the bedroom stuff just here. Maybe get rid of that window then. Get this here. Because all that stuff, again, is kind of out of frame for this photo. So that's kind of fine. <laughs> I love these giant lights up above that you can't see. Look <laughs> this building outside. It's all right. It's about the inside. It's about using the kit, okay? Oh, we need the fan. Now, I, oh, I guess what we could do, we could have like a little offshoot. That has the rest of the stuff, but it's only like one story high because then we could fit in that fan that we chose. So like if we did an offshoot here and then this is, the, oh, then we, oh yeah, yeah, then we can use this, which I do like the idea of it sort of being behind that um, bookcase because then it sort of covers up a bit of it. <laughs> it doesn't look as rough. Yeah, because then we can use that. That just goes in there. I can use the bricks in this section without ruining that. I mean, it does seem strange having the living room set up like this, doesn't it? Might even make that gray just to blend in with the wall. Should we might rotate this door so it opens this way. So you come in here, then that kind of allows me to, if I move all this stuff over this way instead, potentially makes more sense. Yeah, because then at least this is like a little entrance way. There's no TV because there's no TV in this kit. So you don't need to worry about that. Oh, I don't need that side table. That was actually uh, an initial draft. So I'll get rid of that. This one I'll use here. Make it the same as that. This plant, maybe just over in this corner. And then I'll use also this light here that I sort of picked out. Now, I guess this is where we'd have like a kitchen or something, but uh, we don't have a kitchen in this kit. So just use some windows. <laughs> oh, we got to use graffiti. True, true, true. That could go on this wall. That's nice. Kind of fun. Kind of lofty. Oh, we got to use... Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> we got to use pipes as well. Where are my pipes at? Here they are. So most of the stuff is really in this room here, which is fair. Maybe here around the couch. Oh, yeah, there you go. Can even get some sweet yellow pipes. And I do one like vertical pipe maybe over here. I was thinking just so it sort of covers up that door more because I really don't think that door, <laughs> door suits, but it's kind of the best we got. Oh, I might just do it here maybe by the front door and then I can put that there. And I'll actually leave that pipe in the gray. All right, so this kind of goes to like a, I guess a kitchen dining area, but we don't, <laughs> we don't really have that. So I guess it's just gonna have to be this, which is kind of awkward, this giant table. Uh, that's all right. I mean, I think it would look okay in screenshots, right? Look, at the end of the day, all of this is about is, about is uh, the thumbnail. The thumbnail is everything. Just bring that in because that room doesn't need to be that big. All right, so if we jump into build mode, not build mode, camera mode. So this is here, right? This is the render. This is our render comparison, which is about there. That's pretty good, I think. I'll have to zoom out a bit, but that's all right. Bit of Photoshop. That'll make that look pretty good. Yeah! And then, okay, then we've got all the other stuff that comes in the kit. Which, I, I mean, I don't know that this is really gonna... I don't think there's anything to compare it to. Um, but, yeah, this is the industrial <laughs> loft like kit right here. But not using the kit at all. <laughs> now, this is a fun little uh, jab at the kit. Because uh, a lot of people are saying a bunch of the items look like stuff we've already got. And I don't disagree. Quite clearly, I don't disagree with that that point. <laughs> and if anyone's going to like an industrial pack, it's probably going to be me. I love the industrial style and I love building in that style and I always do. But 
Now, I have not seen the official object list, but the leaked image, assuming that's everything, it's, an, it's a kit, so I'm not surprised that there's not much stuff in it. And the stuff does look good, but I mean, it's just... I, I still, with kits, I don't really get it. Like, I get it, but I really don't get it. I still think, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let me grab that uh, picture whilst I... Uh... <laughs> there we go. Whilst I have my TED talk, we'll have both images side by side, which is the kit, I don't know. Um, what I was gonna say, I think it'd be really cool. I still think, I, I actually don't remember if I mentioned this in a video at the time or not when kits were first announced, but I still think it'd be way cooler if they collaborated with CC creators on these kits. So let's just say, for example, Hey Harry, who makes amazing custom content packs. There's so many that are incredible. Highly recommend checking those out. If they were to be like, hey, this is the Hey Harry collab kit, right? And then there's a whole bunch of her stuff in there. Or they make a whole new kit around like a bunch of new stuff. And then that creator gets a, a share of the profits. Uh, that would be incredible. And I think everyone would buy it. And it also gives people a chance on console to get custom content. Obviously it'd be official content, but in collaboration with a custom content creator, I still think that's a better way to go about it than trying to almost, it seems like that kits are competing with CC just because of the size of them. But then it, it doesn't, I don't know. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me because at least stuff packs while some of them, well, well a lot of them are lacking. They typically have, you know, the gameplay element in it as well. That makes it more interesting. I mean, paranormal stuff, for example, uh, was a really good stuff pack if you like that kind of thing. And this is me with all bugs aside. Let's imagine that Sims 4 is a perfect game with no bugs. Oh, that would be an incredible world. But no, let's, let's just say, okay, it has, you know, the, kit, the, the stuff packs come with gameplay and all the new items. That makes them already, you know, that step above CC and not something that every CC creator could make. Uh, obviously some have been making some incredible gameplay mods and all that, but not everyone can. Uh, and I'm not saying everyone can make awesome items either, but it just seems like kits are like in competition with free custom content and it doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know. I think moving forward, if they're going to keep doing kits, I honestly would love to see collaborations with, with amazing creators from the community. I think that would just be so much better. Everyone would be way happier. And quite frankly, it's probably less work for EA to get the other creators to make the content. I don't know, uh, just kits, I guess. I'm not gonna do a video on the kit itself. I don't see any point. Uh, we already have, sorry, we already have, here it is. <laughs> so, I don't know. Thanks for watching, I guess. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think about kits down below. This is not a, like a review or anything specifically aimed at the industrial kit. I think all the kits kind of fall into this similar thing. I don't think kits as a whole are a bad idea. I think there's a better way of doing them though. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.